and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a flower of life icon. Let us start with a circle, so use the ellipse tool and hold control. Give it a fill now stroke. So I'll shift and click on the X to get rid of the stroke. Press Ctrl R to see rulers and then drag a guide to the center position. I can do so because I've got this plus icon active and the snapping enabled and I also have snap to paths active. Click on it again to find this plus sign, which is the rotation center. And then reposition it to the top position of the circle. It should be fine. You may have to zoom in to make it snap. Hold control and use your mouse wheel to do so. Then go to object, transform, use rotation, and then use 60 degrees, apply it, but also press control D in between to create copies. We need six in total. Go to edit and delete the guides, we don't need them anymore. Let me give that a stroke. So hold shift click on the black color swatch and I click on the X to get rid of the fill. Then I use a rectangle, I give it a fill, no stroke, put it to the bottom. Select everything but the rectangle, then go to path and combine. Then select all. Go to path and division. Now we can get rid of what we don't need. In the end, we need this basic element. And let me group that, Control G, I put it to the left, then press Control D to copy it. We need four copies. Select it all, then Shift Control G to ungroup. Then select everything but the top, so we need this element. Press Ctrl D. We need six in total, so we already had one. So you need to copy it five times and we position the copies to the bottom. And this should be what you've got now. Now use one of these elements, so only the top, press Ctrl D and position them to the center, just like this. Let me give that a red color so that you can see what I've got here. So shift click on them. This is what we now have to copy, press Ctrl D. Make sure that you only select these six red elements and then drag them to the center positions, just like this. All right, this is our basic grid, you could say. Now let's select this circle. I'll give that a different color. This one should also be green. Let me make this one red again. I don't want to confuse you. So this is our basic circle here. Now we need to find the same on the right hand side as well. Shift click on it and I'll make it green. And then we need to connect it via these four elements. And we can delete everything outside of it. Select it, press the delete key. We can delete this element on the right hand side and on the left as well. And now we only have to mirror what we've got at the top to the bottom. This is what we wanted to have. Select it all. Give it the same fill color. Use the ellipse tool, go to the center, hold shift and control, and drag this circle. Give it a stroke, no fill. And when you resize it, hold shift and control.
Select it all, get rid of the fill, hold shift and give it a stroke. So for me it fits perfectly, but if you've got, uh, let me show you this, it's better if you can see it. So select it all, I zoom in, then I go to object fill and stroke. When you've got one of these joints, you might have overlaps that you don't want to have. So you want to play around with the join until it's gone. Now you can press Ctrl G to group it. And this is how you can create this flower of life icon in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.